Hello, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. It's a greatest opportunity today to hear uh, Rahim Anissa, ma'am, for this wonderful uh, webinar series that is going to be launched uh, since this particular time of pandemic to utilize this pandemic period uh, to utilize in an appropriate way to gather knowledge, sharing dialogue from the expert. So uh, I created this particular forum called Web Platform for Dialogue. And today is a very special day. Today is International Peace Day. 21st September has been celebrated by United Nations as a World Peace Day. In this particular pandemic, where we all are in dilemma, we all are into in the trauma scenario. Let's utilize the period as a resourceful era. 2020 may be in the history of pandemic. Same time, 2020 will be considered to utilize in an appropriate way. Each and every day we can able to learn something from an expert like Rahimanissa ma'am. So I welcome uh, Rahimanissa ma'am to this webinar series. And it's a, a wonderful opportunity to hear from her expertise in the field of law. Today, particular topic is domestic violence during pandemic legal measures. Today's speaker is Rahimanissa Begum, advocate Vishaka Patanam, BAR, Research Scholar of Law, Gitam University. It's a dean to be university. I welcome you for today's talk. I'm going to share on behalf of her. So um, I'm just for this session. And after finishing your lecture, your entire discussion on this particular very important topic, uh, we will open the floor to the audience. And then if they have any questions, we can have a round of question answer session and observation and at the end we will come back to you for your concluding remarks sure yeah you can uh, share the screen uh, i this is uh, rahimunisa i'm from vishakhapatnam andhra pradesh a very warm here is I don't know about the other place where uh, I sincerely thank Swati uh, for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Uh, it's indeed the most wanted, a very apt, uh, uh, you know, talk where people must know, realize the importance of law, as well as uh, have to understand ki where are the lines to be drawn uh, in an era where we all throughout the globe we are witnessing this global pandemic. In this testing times, the worst uh, phase of human behavior, human attitude is also seen. So this is not new to India, wife beating, beating children, you know, domestic violence, violence between the four walls. Uh, we are not new to all this. But the thing is, uh, during testing times, what happens, there could be n number of reasons for people to behave in a different awkward, heinous, sometimes these are the negatives which I have mentioned. Sometimes it so happens people come out with glorified uh, behavior too. Like they will be sympathetic, they will be empathetic. Uh, usually it is also another tendency, we will not speak good about many things. We, we try to uh, minimize the worst part of human life and the worst part is violence. As rightly mentioned by Swati sister, today is International Day for Peace. If peace doesn't begin at home, so where shall we talk about peace, right? Uh, charity begins at home. We say that in all humility. So peace also begins at home. So in the four walls, among the four walls, between the four walls, if there is no peace, there is brutality, there is violence. It's a silent pandemic, which is an alternative or a subdued pandemic kind of a thing. Why I'm saying this is with a lot of, uh, you know, a kind of concern where the, the domestic violence cases have been seen a steep hike. 
as daily we are seeing steep hike in covid-19 positive cases we are also witnessing this kind of domestic violence cases also taking up a steep hike in numbers and numbers in democracy literally play a very vital role if it is elections probably that will be a winning charm but violence growing numbers is something which we don't want we at least the academic people we the intellectuals we the professional doesn't want for that simple matter any human being wouldn't love to be hurt love to be violated love to be you know uh, victimized who would love to be it is it's never the question of literacy or illiteracy it's, it's always the question of you know a basic human right a basic human concern a basic human understanding and a basic human you know recognition for that matter we all fight for all that right since we are qualified since we are educated it is our onus duty that we have to spread message on various things what are happening across the globe if not across the globe at least in our nation in our country in our state or in our district as such so uh, may i just uh, bring to the notice of uh, you people that domestic violence doesn't stop only between wife and husband it was a old notion it could be between in laws and you know the party it could be between parent and child it could be between siblings it could be between uh, affairs right? the relationships as such so on and so forth so domestic violence need not always be uh, as a settled matter of fact it is nothing confined uh, to the understanding that only wife and husband beating is a domestic violence domestic violence could be a father beating a child uh, a mother beating the son or a son beating the mother it could be this side to that side so we have to be very very clear in understanding what comes under domestic violence so why domestic violence comes as the second slide rightly uh, shows you the power the game the power game the kind of you know attitude we have india is globally known for its ethics values rights and concerns at the same time uh, we at the family institutions we at the domestic arena we feel men have more power this is an artificial power attributed to masculinity right so since india is dominated it's a male dominated uh, centric uh, you know setup of family institutions there might be some exceptions here and there some in some cases it could be female also but power this side or that side is always dangerous within the family it is always the feelings the emotions the respect for the each uh, other concern is important not the power and you know a kind of a status in a family a father is important mother is important children are important equal important are relatives so you cannot say ki it is just because i am a man i am a masculine person i am a breadwinner uh, i have resources or i am educated or i am heading the house so i do whatever uh, i want to do earlier it was taken for granted but after uh, 2005 after the enactment of domestic violence act it is uh, a curtain raiser it is like a you know uh, it, it has put a halt on your domination when i say on your domination it means and include male domination and we have been fighting for this progressive women have been fighting for that here again i want to literally tell you the other side of the coin also domestic violence need not be always women be subjected as victim men are also victimized please understand domestic violence includes where men are victimized men are brutalized men are sexually assaulted or halted uh, or like you take rajput uh, case so how a uh, charismatic person also you know uh, is within the garb of female uh, you know captivity and all that i'm not talking about the legal issues or the political issues of the case but how even men can be uh, victimized due to a uh, feminine power or unwanted uh, you know kind of um, a relationship or affair whatever third slide please so when we move on from power uh, to another areas of uh, you know these kind of violences so what we see or what we perceive is uh, there are different aspects of violence the violence as i was telling you it could be like you know men is having absolute control of women it's like a weaker section we call or we call it as a weaker sex why weaker sex we call it because the the des design of the human body female body itself is considered to be weaker suppose a female lady is there who is just who has given just birth to a uh, you know a uh, child that time even a small attack on the human body will be very very voluminously affected so those are the areas where women are considered to be weaker actually really in, in terms of reality it is not weaker in terms of you know calculating the time frame it is weaker section right and the other side as 
I witness so many elders are participating in this uh, program. So we have seen the Durga part of women also. Women always will not be silent, right? We have seen the Kali Mata, we have seen the Shakti, we have seen Durga Ma, we have seen Lakshmi Saraswati, all forms of, you know, females. So I request men not to take women for granted to be weaker section. If time arises, I think women can be the worst part of the other side of the coin because enough is enough, right? So how long we will bear this, right? It was there in during primitive times, maybe it was okay. But now women are educated, they are contributing, financially independent. And we are in an electronic era. We are in a digitalized era. If we boast about customary practices and civilization, I think we must respect each other. 50-50. We are like Adhangini concept, like Shiva, Parvati goes equal, equally placed. That's what our Vedas taught us. That's what our gospel taught us. That's what our religious text taught us. Even our constitution of India also says equality should be there. And then if you look into the other slide, there is like captivity. Uh, during pandemic time, what happened is even otherwise also, women will be uh, in captivity, uh, fourth slide or fifth slide, uh, Swati. Uh, we, yeah, this is like a power game, I told you, next one. So what happens is women will be in, in absolute captivity. As I was telling you, she gave birth and she's unable to mourn. Or she's pregnant, she's unable to mourn. Or she is not highly qualified, she's, she is uh, a part and parcel of the home where she literally is at the mercy of the main person. Uh, even shockingly, it says 30% of women doesn't go home, uh, doesn't go out uh, in terms of employment or education uh, because of Parda system, because of customary practices, because of lack of education or like, lack of, you know, employment opportunities or they are very shy or the family doesn't allow. We have gender stereotypes of, you know, cultures. So all such cases, women are in absolute captivity of men. That means to say, you fall easy prey to men. There will be emotional uh, reasons for this. Men may hate something. Men may want another woman. Men are already in, in captivity of some other affair. Or the joblessness of man is there. I'm talking about COVID-19 period. Suppose joblessness is there. Or a fight between friends is there. Or you went out and could not get an alcohol bottle. Because it was almost three months unprecedented lockdown time. And there was no uh, uh, beer bottle. Uh, such kind of vices are not available to men. So probably with the power, what they'll do? They come home and start thrashing the wife and children. This is a very subtle scenario. If not in elite classes, if not in middle classes, it is very much there in the uh, you know poor downtrodden classes. We, we, we always uh, watch all this, right? So this is how it has been there. Or maybe there could be another reason. I was told that even in some elite families, suppose there is a sudden uh, downfall of the business. The man will come with a lot of emotional strain and all that. And immediately he pounces on the bike. So there are n number of reasons. But any reason is not justified as, as far as law is concerned. See, if a man says, because I am very angry, I beat you. Suppose the same thing woman says, because I am very angry, I beat you. Where the world will go? We, we end up in beating, right? So... Retribution is never an answer, but rectification is definitely an answer. So next slide, please. So when we move on to the next slides as such, what I'm just trying to predict is uh, project before uh, the August guard, uh, Guardian says, it is like earlier it was like belt. Uh, you know, I tell you, I don't know about the uh, different state scenario, but in Andhra Pradesh, there was a, a system, there was an occasion where the government has banned belt shops. See how uh, notorious it is. It is in 2019-20, maybe 18 to 20 area, where people are talking about going to Mars, explore space law and all that. We at the domestic front are still landing with thinking about how to safeguard a woman. So that has been a priority. That shows where exactly we are. Other countries, other nations, scientists, professionals are going to create inventive wonders, discover, whereas we at the domestic front in India, where we talk more about uh, human values, human rights, and we talk about religious uh, issues, we are trying to stop that the man will not reach a belt shop so that if the belt is not available, he will not beat the wife. See how awkward is, this, is the situation. Uh, no matter whoever does that, I think it's time for men and women also to change their attitude. Beating can never be, uh, 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 you know, a solution to any kind of a problem. If you beat me, what can I do? If Swati says, I'll beat you, give me the lecture, I will not give. How can I give? After beating, how can we, I, I be obedient to you? It cannot happen at any point of time. So we need to have an alternative method, a way of, you know, impressing people and expecting something from the relationship. So next slide, please. When we talk about domestic violence, what we have seen or uh, understand uh, is 
there are different perceptions as regards to this you know violence uh, as i told you it is a settled norm it is a settled norm we the women when i am a wife i am a sister i am a daughter i talk about human rights i talk about women rights but suppose saas bhi kabhi bahu thi i have a son and tomorrow i have a bahu rani like swati i'll be jealous of her beauty i'll be jealous of her academic accomplishments i'll be jealous that she is from a rich family i'll be jealous she everyone are talking about her i not me so this kind of reflections between bahu and saas brings lot of you know uh, harkal and change in the family as such the impact you being a sister is something uh, to a brother is something very very promising the impact you being a sasuma on your son and your bahu rani is something different now the power changes earlier you used to think you are a victim now you want to be on a domestic power front so you will start the stereotype drama that the movie impact that the serial wala impact that neighbor wala impact or maybe the hidden shades of negativity also so i start one is fist the the power of fist if fist is not working nowadays women are very chalu and so so many domestic abusers are very chalu people it's not only women including male children or all how is they know the law they know the consequences they will see that the hurt is there not just by fist but by words but by decharacterization but by abuse mental agony emotionally speaking wrong things where they will be very silent the violence is not seen as it is domestic violence is not seen and hurt most of the cases will land up in such a manner in such a arena where there is no physical abuse there is no sexual assault there is not even a karo chota sa bhi karo jo aapke body pe nahi rahega but the scars on the soul and the heart and the mind will be so 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 very you know un unprecedented we cannot visualize what is what is on my head and heart you don't know same is the case what is there on your mind and soul i do don't know because we never speak up even i know cases where highly qualified women will never love to come out and speak about the negative things mental abuse kind of a thing which they never uh, love to reveal because at the end of the day we love our family i love my children i love my husband i love my brother i love my father no matter my father was never a drunker i, I have never seen him drink the drunker he has passed away also but i tell you even a drunker father children also will never come out and say ki mere papa peete the mujhe maarte the meri sath galiya hoti thi mere sath shararat hoti thi kabhi kabhi we we have seen the worst case the father pouncing upon the girl child attempting rape and sexual assault what worse do we want what worse do we want uh, uh, in a domestic arena see the four walls are considered to be you know it's like a home it's like a happy home it's like a the wall of security within the wall of security if you are subjected to torture cruelty and you know unforeseen uh, attendees maybe in sleep some people will attempt uh, there was an uproar uh, uh, in bangalore three years baby was abused by none other than the father under the intoxication you know under the influence of intoxication whether you are in intoxication position or whether you are uh, uh, not in intoxication position uh, trust me that man will never regain the respect in the society as well philosophically speaking or spiritually speaking god will also not for, not forbid his uh, crime it it is it is never acceptable whether we are in what kind of intoxication that is not a question whether you have done a moral conduct right or wrong that is what you are evaluated and valued right next slide please so when we move forward to look into the other areas of domestic violence uh, few people coming and attacking the person it could be a male or a female i tell you uh, a male person also is not uh, you know away from domestic violence nowadays uh, again i i may be a repetitive uh, uh, dialogue saas bhi kabhi bahuti if i am a bahurani i want uh, my husband to be very friendly to me i want my family to be friendly but if i become saas what i do is i want to put an end to the bahurani so kerosene pouring on the bahurani who will do mostly or dowry bargains who will do mostly abhi dal banana hai chawal banana hai ya fir sabzi banana hai who will decide mostly so these are the other side of the feminine participation in crime i can say small small things only but how much an impact it, it will have on the uh, other side of the coin right maybe i don't want to eat that suppose i am a saas i don't want to eat that bahu want to eat it now there is a clash of content is this may be a very silly thing trust me there was a case on this point where the bahu rani is a vegetarian and the sasuma want her to eat non vegetarian now for you and me it is a very silly thing are ye kya baat hai kuch omelet kha liya to kya hai but no it is a choice a matter of choice a matter of sustenance a matter of uh, uh, my food my body my taste my tongue my stomach i have a right to choose when i have not touched a particular thing for 25 years now who are you to tell me 
as it is there are lot of changes in the house what we do in our father's mother's house parents house is different and what when once we enter into the opposite house the entire system is different as it is we are subjected to so many changes from the bathroom to the bedroom there are 101 you know experiences which the female has to undergo every minute she will change her taste choice so these several hands put together committing a kind of violence i i being an advocate for almost two decades i have seen worst of the worst things like sasuma like uh, sister in law three to four sister in laws come and you know grab that lady uh, the husband will put something on her throw acid on her father in law will threaten i will break you so all these things give a kind of a trauma suppose if i have a girl child i think after marriage what will happen to her even an educated lady like me a fourth pg holder or a robust criminal lawyer if i sometimes think ki after marriage what will happen if anything happens to my child what will happen means see how much of you know the society is forcing us to look into the negative side of the coin it's never positive because the kind of steep changes which are going in society are alarming so much that we are in case tomorrow my is check your internet connection i think voice is breaking hello 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 ma'am okay. your voice is breaking actually ma'am we can't hear you properly hello yes please now are you able to hear ma yes yes now it's clear ma continue ma thank you Sorry, ma'am. Uh, there is similar problem. Uh, your voice is breaking. Uh, can you please switch off your video? So I think uh, bandwidth will be good. Switch off the video. Yeah, that is going to help. Yes. Yeah. Rabindra Singh, ma'am. Yeah. Can you please off your video? everybody able to hear or it's same problem anirudh sir no no we can't hear you can't also able to hear yeah ramani sir ma'am can you uh, up up uh, video of her this can she rejoin can she uh, can we rejoin can you try karo na ke time mein
internet issue from her end. I think she is going to join again. Yes, yes, Anirudha sir, no issues. Uh, if you have any question till now, you can just write in the chat box. So I will raise the question on behalf of you. No issue, sir. It's a very balanced argument that the woman yeah, is Yeah, yeah, actually, it's a wonderful argument. That, you know, she is a, a wonderful advocate in Vishakapatnam. So I thought that it would be a fruitful discussions with her, but connectivity and the network issues. I think she will join. Uh, these things you really can't help. <laughs> it was really wonderful to hear her, but. Yeah, she was the connection has been lost, and anyway, I think she will join soon. No, until this discussion was really, I was very much keen to hear what next, what next, because of power pack discussions altogether. Just a minute, all. Uh, Works near a She's going to join soon because I think there is an issue from her internet connectivity. I can use the topic. Would you like to say something? Yeah, uh, I would like to request Dr. Anirudh Burman to uh, tell, uh, give his precious uh, <laughs> regarding the same topic. Definitely. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm not an expert on this. <laughs> but um, if you talk about gender. Sir, sir, actually, I have I have one uh, one question to you actually on this particular way because in uh, in north in northeast if we compare or you know the other parts of the India if we compare to northeast the northeast women are more empowered rather than the rest of the India so I really want to have some input from you. Uh, see, actually, there is a misconception about uh, the northeast. Uh, basically, I am from Meghalaya, and uh, people feel like uh, it's a matriarchal society, which it is not. It is not matriarchal. Uh, I've been in both Khasi Hills and uh, Garan Hills. Uh, I've spent quite a lot of time there. Uh, these are basically matrilineal. Matrilineal. Uh, they get the name uh, from the mother side. The, the youngest daughter gets the property from the mother side. That's all. That's all, actually. It basically is hugely patriarchal. Uh, like I said, um, if you go to Gado Hills, uh, the headman, headman is known as the Nokma, N O K M A, Nokma. That Nokma is supposed to be a woman, but it's always a man. Her, her husband is supposed to be Nokma. He, he controls everything. If you in Khasil, even if you see, uh, yes, you see more of uh, women in the markets. You see more of women in the markets, their uh, vendors, officers, first you see more of women. If you look at the politicians, the ministers, they're always men. 
Barring a few, I mean, it could be just one out of 60. The 60 is the SMB strength out there. You could get maximum one woman. Never, never more than that. So it's hugely, hugely, yes, schools and colleges, yes, more girls uh, do go there. Teachers, yes, a lot of uh, women are there, in, just like any other place. Similarly in Garo Hills, just excuse me, just one moment. Madam, just give me one moment, I'll be back in a minute. Actually, we were in our uh, discussions regarding the uh, domestic violence issues and how even when this within this pandemic, it's actually increased a lot in numbers, in a volume, and in the you know quality-wise also, the violence is going to be changed because when you actually uh, you're actually spending 24 hours all together, and you are you know losing your uh, job economical deprivation or economical stability has not been there so it's very tough to run the family as well as the mental uh, anxiety mental uh, stability has not been there so uh, i request to all of you uh, please be with us uh, because the issues with the speaker we lost her but I think she will join soon, very soon. So meanwhile, I just uh, shared the feedback link. The e certificate. So you can uh, submit your feedback link. Jeff just joined from London. But unfortunately, Jeff, uh, the, the connectivity of the speaker is not so good. So uh, we just going to speak about the the domestic violence issues in the Indian scenario that how it's going to be happening in this pandemic particularly that was the main discussions for today's webinar so I hope that she will join very soon I I might get a minute more Yes, yes, Anirudh, sir, please. Domestic issues again. <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 no. no. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Kajal, uh, would you like to say something? I have, we uh, don't have. I have Yes. I, I just have a lot to say on this topic, but it's my... I think I'll the mic isn't sure. Uh, yeah. I'm not, no, yes. mic is not. Uh, actually, no, but we can, we can able to hear you very clearly. We don't need to use mic. Okay. Are you able to hear me? Am, are you getting Yes. It? Yes, yes. Absolutely. It's very clear. No, Domestic violence, I have a lot to say on this, not only on pandemic, but uh, from the very base, after I got married, I have uh, faced such issues, but I don't didn't want to bring my personal issues over here. But since you have time and patience to listen, I can tell you, yeah. And I have learned a lot how to get over. After that, I came to know about the domestic uh, violence laws. There are many laws, but not in favor of women. If when you uh, move towards the police or court, uh, they'll just... They are all business over there and the business is open. I see go and tell. Uh, Ten years back, my husband left me and my daughter and uh, went away for uh, money. We didn't give him some dowry he was asking for. And he left us. My in-laws left us and went away. After that, I struggled. I was hardly 12 pass and I, I struggled and completed my graduation, post-graduation and double, triple post-graduation and PhD within this 10 years. And after 10 years, I searched. Where he, he was, I came to know he's married in Pune, settled in Pune with another wife and is having a daughter of 13 years. Now, what is this if not domestic violence? What could I do for this 10 years? Just 
complained to police that he is not there and police they took some money and uh, left us alone to our own fate god thank god that my parents were there to help us and uh, now we are settled with my parents but the thing is this all in this in india it's domestic violence no that's happening but if we education can only bring a full stop to this if women are educated they will not bear this domestic violence and this will help other women to uh, this power pack whatever ma'am was saying was absolutely correct uh, domestic violence is happening in every stage at home uh, maybe with parents every every place but it's up to educated people how they take this up how very coolly they maintain their relations and take up because first thing is that they cannot leave their family they cannot leave their husband but being with them how they come over this and then i believe that the bring philosophical change and psychological change is only the uh, only the way a woman can grow rest i so much thank you it's my uh, salute to you first of all and in this open forum you spoke about your personal sharing with us it's a greatest honor to us actually, actually the last how much the last, you, you paid honor to actually, us actually the last this particular was, forum yes actually the last statement of, of ma'am was rehman ma'am was that we do not educated people do not want to share that openly but the yes. thing is i don't i don't feel ashamed of anything because what i have done is not uh, it, it is it doesn't uh, it doesn't relate to my husband it relate, relates to me Hello. what he did what the family Hello. did was up to them but now uh, how i faced and i came up in this last 10 years and i am being saluted by every uh, dean of the university of gujarat the uh, vnsu and all Hello. my professors i thank them also for everything they have made me today right ma'am is here right ma'am is here right ma'am just ma just uh, just 5 minutes uh, we are we are uh, in discussions with your presentation we are just having a wonderful wonderful you know uh, live story from uh, dr kajal that uh, he, she is uh, sharing with us a continuity of your talk that yes a uh, lots of indian educated women ashamed of being violated about their own rights they uh, they feel ashamed of sharing their own stories so thank you so much uh, dr kajal ma'am for sharing your story please please rai minister ma'am uh, yes dr kajal please my daughter she's here uh, she was oh. uh, she had uh, she was in third standard when her father left us and uh, now uh, she she is my drip bone you can say and uh, everything i did my education my phd and i have now opened up public uh, publications of my own uh, here in recent pandemic situation when when i got to know that he is uh, already yeah, married after 10 years i think he is married thank you thank you hi after so babu thank you thank you thank you for being with us it's you know my honor my gratitude so uh, i thank my parents i thank my parents that they supported me otherwise i would would been in road yeah, and uh, yeah. no one would have helped help me they are the situation i was in uh, sometimes parents are not also supporting the you know the daughters my parents, that's my parents were there uh, they they were there meant mental abuse and all whatever i faced they were there with me every time and today i'm here in front of you being masters in uh, political right. science english my amid and then phd and a doctorate and wonderful education is you are rightly pointed out that education is the solution to this so yeah. coming back to raipur ma'am's presentation and then if we have some time we'll definitely come back to you kajal so thank you I, I, so i want to i want to have this smile on your face not tear on your eyes that makes you more stronger yeah Hi, Manisha, ma'am. Please continue. Thank you for joining again. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, we will take this as a second half of session. Kudos to Dr. Kajal there. Uh, truly wonderful uh, journey. This is where uh, exactly we stand, or maybe the law molds, or maybe there is. This is other phase of the coin, right? So, as I was telling, several hands are deployed in this uh, violence, domestic violence, as such. It could be several brains behind also. 
so moving on to the next slide uh, it was hilarious to see a very horrifying picture that post uh, uh, during covid 19 time since men are at home since the family is together the violence also was uh, uh, on the top of the floor uh, one in every three women worldwide is uh, uh, seems to be experience some form or either form whether it could be a minor one or a major one but they have been subjected to domestic violence and then if you move on to next slide uh, what uh, i am trying to literally uh, to, uh, tell you is now, as i told in my initial uh, narration global pandemic is seen domestic pandemic is unseen untold and not totally uh, been visualized why because as i said reasons are multiple sometimes women does not want to come out sometimes people will stop the issue sometimes we think family is the top priority reasons could be multi and uh, and i tell you the system also become little bit handicapped why because there are no courts no police station functioning the health pandemic was too much on our head we initially we were confused there was unprecedented lockdown then there was economy issues then was migrant workers issues all these resulted into multi faceted domestic violence next slide please as we move further as we move a little bit ahead uh, in 2005 itself we have this title domestic violence act prevention of domestic violence act came in the year 2005 next slide in this important piece of legislative framework the focus was undoubtedly for towards the reformation of rural women the distress of rural women was multifolded see uh, when a, a lady goes out of a home it is outside sexual harassment also the chances are fair and if it's a suppressed community it's a deprived community a community is vulnerable community if there are from scs sts minorities bcs voiceless uneducated illiterates even in educated community we have seen sexual harassment so universities are not exemptions you uh, uh, public platforms are not exemptions corporate houses are not uh, you know exceptions same is the case road is not an exception transport system is not an exception workplace is not an exception unorganized labor is not an exception to give a maximum protect to rural women this uh, beautiful legislation has come into picture and uh, we can see there is a 20% relief for this women as such next slide if we move on to the next slide we will see help where do we seek help if i am in trouble what i need is psychological support emotional support family support as kajal was rightly mentioning the parents need to understand instead of seeing a dead body in the in laws house better you bring your physical body of the daughter home make her a competent personality whatever you have aapke paas agar do bhi roti hai to you can share her half roti it is not the question of being a burden a child is never a burden if you think so we need to reform the family institution as such if we feel a person is a burden then how the entire thinking has to be changed so that much of caliber neither we have nor we can go to so what we need is help is it from the domestic front definitely yes is it from the society yes definitely if it is from the legal quarter what more do we need so we need help from the police we need help from the investigative mechanism we need help from the legal resources we need help from the district administration we need help from the ngos we need help from the supporting people we need help from the immediate society we need help from the family more so the parents the siblings need to play a very very vital role apart from that counseling education legal awareness district administration must also be supportive for this kind of women so next one as we uh, march forward from help first of all as rightly said uh, kajal uh, though i missed her uh, version last words uh, what i could visualize and understand is we need to be focused on raising our voice i am not saying be a harsh person be a ruler or a dictator or be a you know ab gali gali pe mocha leke jana nahi hai but at least you should have that conviction of saying ki yes i need to stop this violence whatever i can do if it is in my house or in the neighborhood house or in the society or in the state or in the district or the nation at large thereby growing global at large we need to stop violence so if you if you move on to next slide what you will be uh, thrown open is how to take support and where to stop violence and whom to approach we have an exclusive national commission for women and sorry uh, my dear men and gentlemen for you there is no commission for you unfortunately you people are so talk on the floor 
that people never bothered about your problems people always bothered about women's issues girl child issues but a male child was never read hurt and a man was never looked into so this is the other side of the coin i being a women activist i being a human rights activist i believe there should be no partiality towards any sex any gender if we talk about women's issues we must also have the guts brain and heart to talk about men's issues also now men doesn't come and say ki i need this much dowry it is always the women counterparts who do the bargaining business so somewhere some some kind of reform should be from the women point of view and men also should be placed at the same you know uh, weighing the jab wo kehte hai na tarazu jab aap tolte ho to it should be a equally balanced uh, approach uh, next slide please when we look into uh, the other side of the coin uh, as i reminded in the initial stage itself victim cannot escape during Uh, pandemic we are uh, focusing our agenda on pandemic so uh, the focus is like you know victims are unable to move out. so when victims are unable to move out, we have seen east godavari and anthapur districts have reported four rape cases each child marriages were very rampant in vijayanagara very close to our vishakhapatnam and uh, Vish uh, vishakhapatnam nellur has also reported eight cases of domestic abuse which is highest in the state so what the government missionary administrative missionary has done is Uh, they have launched a helpline number uh, and here comes the trouble the government will do its uh, you know version we the uh, academicians will do we the ngo leaders will do people like swati will come up with awareness program how many of us are literates how many of us are know at least ki there is a helpline let this is also a matter of sabbe this is also a matter of concern when people doesn't have four chapatis in their house can they have four sim cards me and swati will have multiple sim cards multiple laptops multiple Uh, you are we are all, we all are blessed academicians so we will have all that gadgets right? right if not gold silver and ss we will have these things which we feel necessity for a poor family can you just guess ki uh, there will be a app there will be a model there will be a modem or there will be a laptop no never inke paas to khane ke liye khana nahi hai pani bhi nahi hai migrant workers flight you just imagine ma so where people will get so this is another uh, area which i request the government missionary to ponder upon and the national commission for women or any other agency working for women exclusively and men also have to think about because poverty illiteracy unemployment are the biggest still the worst challenges which our global india our digital india our shining india is facing sorry to be a little bit rude but this is a harsh reality uh, tribal issues i think swati can tell better than me tribal issues are still a global issues right so you cannot imagine everyone to be ambani's and tatas right so blessed are few souls who can have all that electronic things but few people doesn't know what is a helpline is all about so next slide when you look into uh, different areas of the legal uh, system uh, 1091 is a number 100 is a uh, number uh, very few people and sometimes i for myself tested some helpline sometimes they doesn't work or maybe there may be overlapping of you know connectivity then like network issues right now my network also got uh, interrupted so you cannot always believe uh, uh, you know la- online digital uh, modems of you know uh, compassion or connectivity or uh, help but these are the best part these are the best uh, uh, even then there are certain uh you know negative uh, versions of that but still uh, how to reach people is also a matter of you know convenience and that that is communication system is giving you lot of impact so next one is as we look into uh as i told you the mindset enough is enough so what all we have tolerated for centuries together is enough abhi ram jaisa मतलब पति नहीं है और सीता जैसी पति भी आप ढूंढने से शायद नहीं मिलेगी जरूरत भी नहीं है दोस डिफरेंट दोस कल्चर्स आर डिफरेंट नाउ इफ माय हस्बैंड एबेंडेंस आई थिंक आई नीड टू ड्रॉ ड्रैग अ केस अगेंस्ट हिम व्हाई जस्ट लाइक दैट हाउ ही कैन लीव मी सो इवन ट्रिपल तलाक इशू एंड ऑल दोस हैव कम इनटू फोर फ्रंट राइट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रोग्रेसिव इंडिया वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इक्वल इंडिया वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वुमेन एंपावरमेंट जेंडर जस्टिस Uh, gender equality and all that when we speak about all these things i think uh, uh, we have faced enough and uh, there is no absolute need to uh, uh, you know tolerate this tolerance is not the right tolerance it is like you are accepting the negativities you are accepting to be beaten and why should you be accepted to be you need not have that that kind of a good heart that is not even called as a good heart so next slide uh, swati i'm sorry troubling you uh, there are some network issues from my side it's not possible so let us all say uh, no to abuse 
in in silence we will never uh, suffer uh, domestic abuse should be stopped somewhere so we all in in toto in connectivity we all can do this next slide so as i was uh, you know referring to uh, the child is in captivity the worst part of this global pandemic brought uh, the child into captivity uh, i am very sorry to say the figures are so horrifying the figures are very very horrifying that uh, child abuse was there sexual abuse was there child prostitution was there child marriage was there child trafficking was there online pornography was there online trafficking also it multi multi folded it is beyond imagination so domestic violence the worst ever victim is the child the voiceless the small baby or a boy now it is boys are also subjected to lot of you know uh, sexual harassment earlier it was only the girl child was more subjected now it is uh, a boy child also so here i think it's a matter of concern for the academicians professionals ngo leaders all concerned to put their head hands and heart together and come out with a possible solution otherwise it is too tough a scenario where forget about peace and all that we can't even talk about basic human rights forget about progression basic things are also we are lacking so can i have the next slide uh now what this uh, domestic i think one slide you might have missed swatima uh, sections of uh, act rahenge agar wo aap piche se karoge to there are certain sections in oh sorry i think i might have missed it but just i'll give you an oral thing so what this domestic violence act uh, gives you it gives you protection it gives you counseling it gives you restoration of your uh, right to rejoin your house suppose in the midnight the husband has thrown out the wife so you have a right it is your matrimonial home you cannot be thrown out like right as i was telling you gone are the days where the husband's furiosity was taken into as a masculine power and it was accepted by society that was gone over now you have your home it is your right matrimonial home is meant for both men and women if, if the women throws men or the men throws women in both the cases the opposite victimized party have a right to rejoin back same is the case with the children if the child is thrown out if the girl child is thrown out for being a gender specific if i if my husband doesn't want the girl child but i give birth to girl child means it is not in my hands if they ask me to study mp i would have studied if they ask me to study mc i would have studied but having a boy or a girl every parent in india would love to have a boy that is an accepted norm but if it comes a girl you have to accept the truth it is not in your hands it's a god gifted thing and it's a biological thing it's a scientific thing and it has to be accepted if you are ready for that acceptance then only go for a marriage and the sexual connect then we get the children and respect the gender respect the uh, the gender respect the child that is what we look into so these protection laws the domestic violence act gives you ample opportunity of taking the protection officer a protection officer will be appointed he or she will be given you as a Uh, you know protection measure she they will come to your house report it and you can lodge an fir you can lodge a you know a complaint it could be an online complaint or an offline complaint you are given ample security to your body to your assets to your children and to the decent living within the four walls you can rejoin and the immediate protection officer will be uh you know made stand near to your gali mohalla or to your flat or apartment so that anything is there you can immediately report it so these kind of convenience things domestic violence act provides you apart from that if you if you are not given maintenance financial maintenance then it is a duty of the husband to maintain the wife and children of course now the versions are little bit changing if the wife is also equally qualified and independent and financial independent and having assets financial independence doesn't mean ki husband doesn't have any role to play even the wife is educated wife is having her means it is the duty and the basic respect of a family that the wife and husband put their heads and hands together of course there, there will be an involvement of heart and body when the crisis comes they both should tackle the issue within themselves if it is not done the law is very keen in particular if it is a family if it is a husband and wife issue if it's a couple issue then both have respective duties towards each other now with the permission of the uh, though it is a very little audience small audience uh, i request uh, swati to kindly permit me shabana kindly permit me uh, to you know kindly permit me yeah 
to show my daughter once on screen. Uh, oh, say hi. Just hi. Yeah. Can you just hello? Yeah. How are you, baby? Nice. Guys, so which class you are in right now? Sixth. Sixth. Wow. Right. Okay. I, 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 I'll send her. I'll just tell. I'm in a different room. I tell. When this child was in my womb, I was told by my mother-in-law that I should never give a girl child. And after this child has born, they abandoned me. Now I am a separated, individual, diverse, deserted wife. So what I did, my parents accepted me and they bought me home. They gave me a secure shelter. Uh, at that time itself, I was a law graduate and a master's in law. I started working for Beti Bachao, Beti Bachao. And today I am the state convener of Andhra Pradesh. So from being a victim to a winner, uh, I never disclosed this journey to Swati. Just I want to compensate Dr. Kaujal. Yes, I have also have the guts of coming out and you know showing our power. But somewhere we are losers. Uh, let me also admit the fact that we may come across a criminal case. We may drag them to the court of law. Mm, our harassment is mental and physical. We might have to bear all that burden. But what happens is, uh, at the end of the day, the child may lose the father's affection. That is again a lacuna which no law can compensate. But but I understand. As a uh, lawyer or as a professional, I understand. We can make them secure. If this emotional abuse is not there, every minute they will not say he what or not a wanted child. But then we respected you. Those things are unfortunately our indian society is all about emotions pains sufferings victimization what not the family drama is the biggest drama in our society right and at the end of the day uh, to conclude in a very positive manner i can say uh, both men and women must come forward to stop this domestic violence it is never with one hand never with one progressive never with one leader never with one fighter or a dreamer it is independence at least we fought uh, against british with one hand where Mahatma Gandhi was leading. I think more Mahatma Gandhi's, more freedom fighters have to come to fight against this domestic violence. Because it is not between one nation to another nation. It is between any couple, any couple. Only as I told you, the proximity or the content is less or more, right? Otherwise, it is in, in, in every house. It is a small things we bear, small, small things we bear. But biggest things, crimes, offenses, no security to life, no security to anything, then how can we bear? Why should we bear? So I think this is Dilki Awas. I joined hands with Kajol and Swati. I did not tell you earlier, but it is not even instigated. I just want to make it an open platform and say, yes, women need more guts. Women need to understand ki, uh, you know, these are the uh, phases we have to go across. Sometimes destiny plays a very important role. We don't know what is stored in there. So there are empty number of reasons, whether it's a geographical reason, political reason, economic reason, legal reason, religious, customary or national or international reasons. Uh, suffering, if it is written in someone's uh, destiny, we have to. But we should also know how to uh, be a big winner out of being a victim. So at the end of the day, success will talk. Uh, whether it's a small story from a poor uh, you know, uh, downtrodden women to the uh, biggest ladies. Uh, I guess even IS officers also will give dowry and get their children married. I guess judiciary is also not an exception. I guess police system, when the man is in power, he uses his lati. But when he has to give his daughter in marriage, again, he has to bend, go before someone's, you know, and, and then give his daughter into marriage. So these are all social, social vices. And I think there has to be an end for all this. Whether COVID-19 goes or not, I don't know whether we have a therapy or medicine for COVID-19 or not, we don't know. But we do have a medicine for this domestic violence. And that is our value system, ethics system. And if we, the ladies of the house, can change the, uh, you know, a house into home, I think wonders we can do. Thank you so much, Swati, for this wonderful platform opportunity. Uh, dear Kajal, I am with you. Anytime you can approach me, my number, you can get sw from Swati. In fact, if I need help, I will also approach you people. And gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, I always say it was always men who supported women's causes. These are women empowerment. It is all social reformers who spoke about women liberation. So thanks to all, all the gentlemen. You made a day. You made us today. What Today we are independent ladies. A Muslim lady talking about domestic violence and coming out like this. Salute to all freedom fighters. Thank you so much. Perfect presentation. First of all, thank you so much from bottom of my heart. Uh, 
it's a, i think it's a, a normal story for each and every individual nowadays irrespective of any religion irrespective of any caste any religion any region when you are being violated you are an individual no matter you are girl boy or uh, men women when your uh, basic rights are been violated that's a i think that's a thing when we actually uh, share that dialogue we actually raise the voice that's that that's the main uh, uh, initiative i have been taken with for this creation of this particular platform or forum called the platform for dialogue let's have a dialogue let's have a discussions forum where we can uh, share our own stories it could be our own uh, uh, storytelling session that's a separate storytelling session i am having but uh, even when, within with this webinar i came to know so many things and i'm really really happy to with this two a uh, very live story and very it's not a story it's a life for both of you and i think in each and every sphere somehow we have been violated whenever we are traveling with a bus in a crowded bus or in a crowded uh, train sometime we felt that our rights have been not violated as a women we feel that one so thank you so much for opening up the in this particular sessions and uh, you are rightly pointed out that we are privileged we are privileged that we are educated we are thankful to our parents that they gave us the opportunity to uh, raise our voice in this particular forum with our education so we have and uh, you can from uk chief but the joint that uh, in the uk we have an ongoing program that educates religious leaders so they will speak out to their followers to stop domestic violence that's wonderful is that any kind of program uh ramuni sir ma'am do you know about this in india that where religious leaders are spoken yeah. yeah yes uh, yes uh, we have certain forums for child rights vishaka forum for child rights and other forums i am working for that as a freelancer on a you know volunteer basis we did the same experiment we invited all the religious leaders and uh, invited some thousand parents and asked through religious leaders we asked the parents not to get the child married in a way very engaged because at the end of the day we listen to religious leaders more than legal leaders or maybe educated leaders academicians so that is what we have also experimented sir truly yes yes we also we hum most of कैरेट स्टिक मेथड्स यूज करते हैं जहां वी वांट द रिजल्ट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ मेथडोलॉजी वी यूज दैट इज नॉट अ मैटर ऑफ यू नो इंपॉर्टेंस वी वांट द रिजल्ट वी वांट टू स्टॉप चाइल्ड मैरिजेस हाउ टू स्टॉप अ चाइल्ड मैरिज इफ आई से दे थिंक अ लॉयर इज इंटरवीनिंग इन पर्सनल लाइफ बट इफ द गुरुजी सेस दे विल टेक द नींबू इन हैंड एंड दे विल से वाह गुरुजी हम आप ही की बात सुनेंगे तो सुनो ना वंडरफुल 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 दैट्स व्हाट वी वांट वी वांट द रिजल्ट थ्रू हाउ इट कुड बी यू नो इंप्लीमेंटेड who is telling never matter if if a guruji is telling or a you know priest is telling them to stop the uh, child marriage or to educate a particular child so you know do that one thank you so much raimunni sir ma'am for pointing out that's very important very important yeah okay. i have also i have also joined uh, one i have also joined one uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu godiar math it's in agartala tripura and uh, guruji over there uh, is uh, very supporting and uh, they have dances all over uh, the world so through them i would i, I wished one day uh, i would i could bring about awareness about the same and also through my articles self publishing articles and self self publishing tribal books and religious book and also these types of books where uh, personal experience my personal experience of 20 years i am trying to share and let the people know that at least now they should not accept all these things they should come forward and not feel ashamed of anything it's humans after all man man woman everyone are humans so humanity should uh, prevail not any other violence or anything else we have one question to raimunisa ma'am uh, to riya me uh, jagme uh, ma'am how can you relate commercialization of women and domestic violence 
yeah as i told you there are different facets of violence there are different facets and you know different ways of exploiting women elite class people they exploit women in a different way middle class people they exploit women in different way poor class people are bound to exploit in a different way because they feel prey they feel a false prey to promises suppose a couple is there they want their child uh, to get studied somewhere some people will approach and say we are ngo we are good people we will sponsor the child we will take her to bombay get her educated in a catholic college or maybe in a school or maybe an institution or a vocational training center parents will believe if it is me and swati 10 times 100 times we will check i will not allow my child to be in someone's hands that much common sense i have we have we all have some people will not have for them it is a matter of security they have five six children they will think ki chalo agar ek ladki ko hum bhejte hain bombay mein kahin kaam kar lege aur saath mein padh lege wahan wo padhegi nahi in fact it's like a child trafficking we don't know where the child is going i'm not saying ki all the children are taken like that but 90% of the girl children are taken like that in a wrong uh, track and commercialization sorry to say elite class have their own own visualized problems maybe a, a girl wants to be a heroine it is 90% seen in india and abroad also certain industries are very vulnerable they have you see caste coaching and all that sexual harassment hidden harassment open harassment open offers like what is the uh, global like when me to women when we talk about me to women what happened we have seen the elite class coming out and saying we were abused several times first time you were abused we understand several times abused means what is your role into that knowingly or unknowingly you are also part of the crime isn't it so hota hai na swati agar ek bar kisi ne thappad maar diya aur bare bar usi ke paas tum ja rahe ho matlab kyun ja rahe ho if you are going there there should be some security means you should go with the police or you should at least see that the abuser is not abusing you time and again so recently one lady in and in telangana somewhere she said that i was raped for 139 times first time you are raped it could be understood second time you are in captivity we could understand 139 times for 5 years you are raped so what kind of allegation you are coming out it is like women are also using this as a double edged weapon not all women as i told you some men are targeted this way also so i think the change should come from our mindset we should not abuse the opposite gender be it a women abusing man or a man abusing women both are absolutely mindset. both absolutely. are absolutely in india in uh, india uh, i think uh, some fake cases of domestic violence have been happening even within my uh, family also i have seen that uh, Look, fake uh, uh, cases of 498 and 498A have been happened. So that's a different angle of the uh, yes. Indian society. Next time we will take up that issue. 498 का क्या हुआ? That is a big uh, discussion. Uh, exactly. That's yeah. a, another uh, session. I think it will go on with 498. So thank you so much. We are almost at the end of the discussions, and due to time constraint, we can't. I would, I would also like to. Add I would also like to add to the same uh, answer of this question. How can you relate commercialization of women and domestic violence? I am a live example because commercialization and my domestic violence was because of money. He wanted to live in this house where I am living at present, and uh, yes, I we did. We are Sindhi family, and we did did give as a dowry this whole bungalow to him. But my parents, uh, well, once they saw that uh, they are a cheat, they never uh, gave it in my name. They kept it in their name. so uh, he, they wanted to ship from surat to kanpur and my parents never did so what he did he started torturing us and he married another woman in uh, pune who earned 60000 per month and that also without giving me a divorce he still married to him that also legally in court and also in public and the, my father in law's parents did not let us know even that he is again married in pune Commercialization for earning sixty thousand per month through another wife. When I was not earning, I was uh, I was only twelve standard pass from a very good convent school. So uh, this is commercialization and uh, domestic violence. It's an pure example. So this is what I was trying to say. So they do this. They marry some other because he was smart looking. He got a girl who was little less looking, and she she was earning sixty thousand per month in her company in Pune. She married him. She also he did not let her know also that he is already married. So uh, all this was happening in, as domestic violence. I reported to the police. Police said, "I, uh, I we cannot do anything." So there is the hand. So all all our business. I, I have a lot of legal question, but that, I think that's a legal question. I think Raibunisa, ma'am, will 
definitely guide you in this yeah. way. Um, as I told you, in India, marriage is the ultimate goal. For the parents, the girl should be decently married. Once that objective is set, marriage is a big mafia. Now, the world of marriage is a big mafia. Right from selecting a bride, the matchmakers will come here. हम आपके भाई के लिए 30 लाख 40 लाख करोड़ का डॉरी देंगे उसमें से कितना परसेंटेज देंगे नाउ सिंपली दे आर मेकिंग बकरा ऑफ आवर ब्रदर हु वाज आवर ब्रदर फॉर लास्ट 20 इयर्स दे आर मेकिंग अ स्केप गॉट यस आर नो सो एज लॉन्ग एज मैरिज इज द टॉप प्रायोरिटी सेटलमेंट इज द टॉप प्रायोरिटी एज फार एज मैरिज इज कंसर्न इफ दैट गोस अवे आई थिंक 90% ऑफ द इश्यूज विल कम डाउन एंड पेरेंट्स ओनली हैव टू डिसाइड सर्टेन थिंग्स इट इज नॉट द आउटसाइडर्स बिकॉज़ मैरिज इज एक्सक्लूसिवली अ इनर साइड ऑफ सेटलमेंट बिटवीन टू Uh, families yeah. in that case as i told you sasuma plays a very vital role it is it is not just no, no, the marriage is the that... ultimate goal marriage is the ultimate goal you have to marry na aise bhi karke aise bhi karke shaadi tune shaadi kyun nahi itne sare kaam kar liye pagar shaadi kyun nahi so that 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 always haunts and we need social security i tell you as a progressive women we need social security sexual life has to be regularized illegal affairs have to come down this is all we respect but in the name of marriage you are forced to be used abused by an unknown fellow see you should not speak to a outsider when you stand out in the balcony you should not see someone but you should get married to an unknown person within a seconds of your life the the life changes yes or no kajal yes or no swati yes or no raj sir please tell me yes, yes, so yes. i think absolutely where the social reformation should come it should come again from our families let us hope kajal be, be uh, is a mother i am a mother maybe we mothers will change the world at last let us hope so no, i am a mother of a son i am a mother of a two year son i don't know i'll be a you know a villain i'll be a villain coming soon you be a social reformer not a villain that is what i'm telling you once you <laughs> in that ma'am uh, your another point was a boy and a girl yes for a boy i had been made to abort uh, nearly about 8 to 9 times 8 to 9 abortions i have had so uh, once i they came to know it's a girl so abortion so this and within the period of 2 years so that i have faced everything it's in the name of marriage but yes it i have been exploited yeah marriage so, and being a child are the ultimate goals of the dharma जैसे कि अगर आप मर जाओगे तो आपका लड़का ही आके आपको थोड़े रिचुअल्स करना है एज लॉन्ग एज आपको मरने का ही बहुत डर रहता है सीने में इवन इवन विद इन हिंदू विद इन मुस्लिम विद इन क्रिश्चियंस आई थिंक आई थिंक सन प्रेफरेंस इज इज एवरीवेयर सन प्रेफरेंस इज एवरीवेयर आई थिंक आई कैन सपोर्ट द ट्राइबल ट्राइबल्स इन दिस वे बिकॉज़ विद इन द ट्राइबल्स एंड इन इंडिजिनस कम्युनिटी वेयर आई एक्चुअली सर्वेड they particularly they don't have any kind of fan preference they are very happy that they are blessed with four daughters they are very happy they are four daughters so they can work in the field they can work together for you know earning the money for the daily way it runners so here is you know different story for the so called educated so called cultured indians yes Okay uh we are almost at the end of the discussion so here I, i'm not going to stop myself in a continuation of the particular session because that's very close to my uh, topic and very close to my heart and uh, i we have heard two very live example of the uh, abuses and domestic uh, issues in indian context so thank you so much uh, raimunisa ma'am and thank you so much dr kajal for this wonderful uh, sharing and uh, not just to say goodbye i think it's a new challenge to open up ourselves and let's start something what we can do together for the next generation yes mm. sure you're here well done thank you jay thank you jay from london yes robai jay thank you so much for joining the session it's always